Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Today, let's learn about the Confuciusornis. Confuciusornis is a genus of birds, which was very close to modern birds. It still had many features of dinosaurs. For example, there were wings on its forelimbs. Especially, it had two large claws inside which could help it climb trees. But its wings had become very long, and its feathers were well-developed and fully-fledged, looking much like modern birds. Its thumbs could hold things tightly, which allowed it to perch on the tree trunk. The biggest difference between the feet of many dinosaurs and those of birds, is that their thumbs couldn't hold things like this. They swung their thumbs in the same direction with other fingers. Even dinosaurs that could glide were not good at settling down on trees for a long time or holding trees tightly. But Confuciusornis could do that. Some specimens of Confuciusornis show that on the top of its head, there were some crests like woodpeckers, which resembled Ancheonis. Another feature of Confuciusornis is that its mouth had developed into the beak. There was no tooth in it. And its mouth was very big, looking much like a crow. Its eyes could see straight ahead. Both of its eyes could see from the front, and it had binocular vision, which was very important for animals that could fly. Besides, Confuciusornis possessed a short tail with a pigotile, and the hair at the end of its tail was very short. Male Confuciusornis had two long feathers at the back of its tail, which looked much like many modern birds, for example, the feathers on the back of peacocks. That part of peacocks is not the tail, but a structure formed on its back that can spread its feathers for display. Many modern pheasants have two independent feathers, which are used to display and cannot help them fly. Male Confuciusornis had the feathers while female did not. That was an obvious sex characteristic, and it means that during the age of dinosaurs, Confuciusornis had already become birds with a well evolution. The discovery of feathered dinosaurs allowed us to have a deep understanding of how dinosaurs evolved into birds, how modern birds adapt to the environment and other issues. Okay, the above concludes our introductions to the Confuciusornis.